I know how crazy it is. I have not seen John today. Have you seen him? I think he is sleeping. I will wake him up. Thank you, baby. John, come on, baby, wake up. John, what happened? John. Jack. Jack, come on quickly, please. What happened? John is sick. We have to get him to the hospital. Yes. Please. What happened to my son? Doctor. In fact, he has tetanus. What? Are you killing me? Tetanus? Yes. What is tetanus, doctor? Follow me please to my office. I will explain everything to you. So, could you please tell us what is going on? Tell us what tetanus means. Tetanus is a bacterial disease that affects the nervous system. Tetanus is caused by a bacteria, called Clostridium tetani. What is Clostridium tetani? Clostridium tetani is a gram-positive bacteria, that is obligate anaerobic, rod-shaped bacterium that, doesn't need oxygen. This bacteria can be commonly found, in a variety of places, such as, the soil and animal manure. How did it infect my son? In fact, their spores usually enter the body, through an open wound or deep cut by a knife or a nail. Once they inside the body they produce a neurotoxin is called tetanospasmin. Tetanospasmin is released into, the bloodstream and lymphatic system. This toxin acts at several locations. Within the central nervous system, interfering with neurotransmitter, release and blocking inhibitor impulses. Clostridium tetani toxin, causes symptoms of tetanus. But doctor, my son was injured 10 days ago? That is normal, it usually takes 2 to 14 days that symptoms appear after infection. How did you know whether it is tetanus or not? By the symptoms and lab identifications. The early symptoms of tetanus, are characterized by fever, black jaw, difficulty in swallowing, heavy perspiration, restlessness, and stiffness in the neck and abdomen. Later symptoms included, severe muscle spasms, generalized tonic seizure-like activity, and severe autonomic nervous system disorder. There are many lab identifications to detect Clostridium tetani, such as, direct smear and gram stain, capsules upon direct examination of wound smears, gas from glucose fermentation, and double zone of hemolysis on blood agar. Okay doctor. Is there any treatment of tetanus? Absolutely yes. For treatment of tetanus, first of all, the wound must be cleaned. Secondly, debridement. Excuse me, doctor. What do you mean by debridement? Debridement is to remove the dead tissues of the wound, then medication. I will give you some medication treatment such as metronidazole. Why should we give our son metronidazole? Metronidazole is given for anaerobic bacterial infections and protosa. Tetanus patients treated with metronidazole needed fewer muscle relaxants than those treated with penicillin. How can we give our son metronidazole? Metronidazole can be administered in 400 mg doses, or intravenously, for 7 to 10 days. If this particular drug is not available, then other alternatives can be used. There are other drugs, such as erythromycin, tetracycline, vancomycin, clindamycin, doxycyclidine, and chloramphenicol. If my son wasn't treated, what would happen to him? In fact, if not treated, tetanus could be fatal. Is there any way to prevent tetanus? Tetanus can be prevented by vaccination. In children under the age 7, the tetanus vaccine is often administered as combined vaccine, DPT vaccine or DTAP which also include vaccine against diphtheria and pertussis. Doctor, my son is 11 years old. For people who are over 7 years old, Tetanus and diphtheria TD vaccine, or tetanus, diphtheria, and cellular pertussis TDAP vaccine is commonly used. I have a question doctor. Yes, I am listening. I remember when my child was 10 months old. He got a vaccine against tetanus. So, my question is, how he got infection of tetanus? The activity of tetanus vaccine can be weak 10 years after the vaccination. So. Do you have any advice or recommendation for vaccination against tetanus? Yes, I advise to get tetanus vaccine every 10 years to keep it active.